Let's understand what are saccharides. Now saccharides are the unit of carbohydrate. These saccharides form the energy giving block which is the carbohydrates. Now saccharides are units of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. To represent it simply I can say there are certain molecules of carbon along with certain molecules of hydrogen and oxygen. So this would be the basic formula for saccharide where n is the number of unit. Now in case of just one unit we call this as monosaccharide. So everything here would turn out to be one. In case of disaccharides there are two single units of saccharides which are there then we have oligosaccharides where few units are there and polysaccharides where multiple units are there so here let's understand three important disaccharides and three important polysaccharides so the three important polysaccharides are starch glycogen and cellulose now where are they found? So cellulose we know is found in the cell wall of the plants. Glycogen is found as a storage in fungi and algae. Uh, so fungi and animalia. So fungus and animals you can remember that. And starch is found as a storage material in plants. How do we know whether a particular thing is a starch, glycogen or cellulose? So this can be done with a simple carbohydrate test. A simple carbohydrate test that we take is with iodine. So with iodine, what would be the reaction and what would be the colors? So if it is a starch, it would turn blue-black. So that's, that would be an indicative of a starch. If it is glycogen, it would turn red and if there is no change, that means it is a cellulose and why cellulose has no change? It is because there is no helical structure which is present in the cellulose. So these are the three important polysaccharides. Now let's talk about disaccharides. As we mentioned, two simple units of carbohydrate, if come together, they form disaccharides. So what are the common disaccharides? Common disaccharides are sucrose, lactose and maltose. Now how do we remember how they are composed of? So maltose is composed of 1 glucose plus 1 glucose. Lactose definitely is comprised of glucose plus galactose. So galactose is the subunit or it is found by breaking of lactose. So we have galactose. So one unit of galactose and one unit of glucose would give you lactose. And what is sucrose composed of? Sucrose is composed of one unit of glucose plus one unit of fructose which is the fruit sugar. Okay. So sucrose comprises of glucose and fructose. Lactose comprises of glucose and galactose and maltose comprises of two units of glucose. So these are the common disaccharides and polysaccharides and saccharides which are the unit of carbohydrate are known as the energy giving food commonly seen in uh, potato, rice. So those are the common examples and we can have the iodine test for the polysaccharides to identify whether it is a starch, glycogen or a cellulose. In the next lectures we would understand many interesting topics in biology. Stay tuned. Good luck.